Hello, y'all. My name is Rikitra Prospa. I am a second or third year one and I'm a math student at the University of the Bahamas. I took 140 my first semester. I got an A. I took 167 the semester after that in the fall. And I got an A as well. So I think I have more than enough credentials or no. I hope y'all get an A too. So let's get into it. Okay, first things first, physical, go to class. Do not skip class. When you skip one class, especially if you ain't really um, understanding what's going on, it's going to go downhill. It's going to go downhill and it's going to take you a while to catch up, okay? Pay attention in class. Turn off your phone, put it in your bag, okay? Ask questions. Do not play shy. Don't feel like the... Don't feel like the other people in the class getting annoyed at you. At the end of the day, our good government is paying your tuition. They're paying for you to be there. Ask questions. When my first semester, when I was on 140, I used to ask a million questions. That question be like, well, I was online, so I'd be like, Miss Humes, I don't understand. Must be a million times. Miss Humes, I don't understand. You gotta say you want to when you want to understand something, you gotta say when you want to understand, you can't, you know, can't just sit there and stay lost. You know, you gotta tell people you understand. Okay, so yes, go to class, pay attention, ask questions, just be engaged. Make sure you, make sure, like I say, put away your phone, put away distractions, pay attention to what's going on. If you don't understand what's happening, please raise your hand and ask your professor, okay? Second, do the MyMat Lab, okay? I know people don't like the MyMat Lab, but you got to do it. It's good practice, and it really is helping, it, it, it really is helping, like, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. It, sometimes it's annoying, but um, it really is good practice. So you have to do your mind lab plus. It, it's something you can feel to fall back on. So let's say you ain't do good in like the test one or test two or even the final exam. You do all your mind mat lab. Your mind mat lab at 100%. You know what that can do for you? You got to do your mind mat lab. Plus it just give you like a feel of what could be on the test. So you got to do that. So practice. Even after you do the mind mat lab, still do some extra practice every now and then because... Some stuff, some stuff like not everything is beyond the mind my lab, but then they don't give you the mind my lab is just homework. It is good practice, but it's not as much practice that may be um, and not as much practice that you may need. Especially like let's just say you let's just say you you been out of high school a little while, right? And you get placed at Mount Low 40. Some of the concepts, you know, you might not even remember. So, you know, it, you might need more practice than what my mat lab provide so if you find you struggling with certain stuff or if you find yourself spending a little too much time on certain things perhaps you might need to practice it some more just so you could you know master the concept um go to office hours so this is the time you allow to be a pest outside of class like don't be a pest inside class but like you know what i'm saying like if you don't understand something in class or, and you don't understand it on a memory lab, you do practice, go to office hours, please, go to, your, go, go to your professors, ask them when they, go sit up in their face and ask them. When I was in 168, listen to me, 168, like the end, end of the 168, I was so lost up, she used to see me in our office every single day. Well, not every day, but every time, so we sit sitting right up in my face. Um, I, I just don't understand, I mean, I, I, I don't really understand what's going on here. Well, you can't do that, use your office hours, please, use it. Extra help. Okay, so the university provides free tutoring. You know, counseling, you can go to counseling. They provide free tutoring. I'll also have the link in the description and then in the you know bio of the post. Okay, so they have their free tutoring for Max 047, 048, 140, 163, bio 100 to 445, chemistry 125 and 127, psych 100. They have a French tutor. And then Max 167, Spanish 103, 104, Psych 100, 101, and Bio 109. So, yeah, they have a, quite a few subjects off for free tutoring. You know, you can just go on the site, book you, book as much as you want, you know, take advantage of that. It's free, you know, it's good, you know, it's good assistance. So, you can go down. You have some math apps. Let me tell you all the math apps on my phone. I have, um, on my phone, I have Photo Math. I have okay in photo map, let me tell you. If you don't understand something on the uh, if you don't understand something on your my map lab, right? Go to photo map and take a picture of it. Do not use photo map to do your work. 
please, I beg you. This app, they created this app just to help you to understand the work, not to do it for you. Because at the end of the day, if you take this phone, right, you take a picture of the equation, they give you the answer, you put it in, and you go with your business. What you would do, come test. And you don't even know how to do the question. What you would do? So you cannot use this app to do the work for you. You have to use it to help you to understand. If you enter an answer a million times and it's still telling you wrong, use PhotoMark to see where you're going wrong. Or if you're practicing, you could use PhotoMark to help you see where you're going wrong during your practice. I implore you to not use this app to do your work for you. You have to use it to help you to understand the work, okay? Um, simple app is a good app, too. Socratic, like them word problems, take a picture of it, and it it might not be the exact same problem, but it would it would be a similar problem, and it'll show you it'll show you like step by step how to answer it. Yeah. YouTube, go on YouTube. If you see, let me see, let me see a topic, and let me see a topic in my mat in one of these, one of these, one forty eight line, this one six seven, one forty eight line. Okay. 1.4, integer, inter, integer exponents and scientific notation. You have the course outline, you have the names and stuff. If you find yourself struggling with one, enter the topic into YouTube, search it up. They're right there, it's really simple. You guys, let me know you, you got so much change on YouTube for videos. It's a lot of videos on YouTube to help you. So you don't only have, you know, my lab, you don't really have class, you don't really have your lecture office hours. You have YouTube, you have Google. You can only you Google these things. Let's see one, six, seven. You can also line for one six seven. Okay. Um let me see. Complex numbers. Go on Google. Type in complex numbers. It's a million videos to help you to understand. So if you want especially okay, so let me see. What else I got? Skipping all these things. If you find yourself struggling, you have YouTube. If you see you still struggling, that means perhaps you don't have the background information that you need. So, and if that's the case, you really have to, you know, dive deep. Like, if you don't have the background information, you have to, it's a tree. It's a tree of stuff. Like, maths is like a tree. Like, you start from here, and then, you know, you branch up. Like, you know? So, if you, like, even though they may place you at 140, you may, you may not have the, you know, you may not have all the skills you need for 140. You might get placed at 140, but lacking from skill for lacking skills from, Zero four seven. So if you find that you have to take some outside time to go to practice what you really need to practice, because if you're struggling with the content because you don't have the background knowledge, then you have to go find the background knowledge. Let me see. Anything else? Let me see. Let me see if anything else comes to mind. Because I take notes, but you know, I come up here sitting up in front of this camera. Everything going. Let me see. Anything else? Yeah, the only thing that comes to my mind is background knowledge. If you really don't have the background knowledge, then you have to do a lot of practice. Um, do a lot of a lot of practice. You have the course outline. You have the course outline so you can follow through. If you see you struggling with, if you see you doing, let me see, let me see. Let's use the one forty outline. If you see you doing, okay, two point four is using equations to solve word problems. If you're doing this right, even in my lab, using equations to solve word problems. If you say you can't like solve the problems, perhaps you don't know how to use how to do like the actual, the actual you know number problem. So perhaps you have to go back and to try to practice that some more. Because once you get master, the, you don't have to master the concept. Once you get a feel of what you're doing, then the other things can be smoothed up. But if you find yourself cannot get the feel of what you're doing, perhaps you need you know some. Perhaps you need to go back. You know, perhaps you need to go take a step back into the past to. Understand what's going on from the past. See what I'm saying? My, I really hope I'm making sense, y'all. I really hope I'm making sense. Anyway, let me see. Yeah, so go to class. Pay attention in class. Ask questions. Do not play shy. Do the mind at lab. It's annoying, but you have to do it. Practice, especially if you're struggling. You have to take out time, burn the midnight oil to practice. Um, go to office hours. If you struggling, if you outside of class, you don't know homework, but you're still struggling with concepts, you need answers to questions, go to office hours. Extra help, like I say, please take advantage of the free tutoring. It's free. It's free, okay? It's free. Can y'all say the emails like free things? It's free. 
an hour. You can book for two hours. I don't know. I don't know the maximum you can book, but the link is in the description. If you know you need help, book for the free tutoring. Okay. I give you some math apps to help you. Um, one six seven, and you could use the photo map for one forty and one six seven. I used it. Like I said, I used it to help me to understand. I do not use it to help me to do to help me to um, hurry up finish my work. I use it to help me to understand. Okay, use those apps to help you to understand, not to do your work for you. Because at the end of the day, you have to sit in front of a test. You have to do your test one, test two, and your final exam. So you have to understand what you're doing. You can't use that app to do your work for you. You have Google. Okay. All right then. I think I gave y'all some, you know, tips to help us help pass your math work. Yeah, help us help do y'all it down. You see something? All right then. I think that's. I think that's basically it. I think that's basically it. I think that's basically it. You know. I think that's it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this is, you know, very beneficial. I hope um, y'all take my advice. I hope y'all book for free too, and I hope y'all do everything. And I hope that whatever grade y'all pass, not 140 or 167 with, that, you know, you like it. So, bye, and thank you for watching.